Here's the story. Goodco created a new kind of toy interlocking brick. Badco copied it. You are Goodco's attorney preparing for the patent infringement suit. So first, we'll open the Goodco patent project in Liquitext. I've already imported the documents I need, starting with the relevant area of U.S. patent law. I'll add a title heading then to my workspace, Laws Badco Broke. Then I'll select the relevant piece of patent law and drag it out into my workspace and put it under that title heading. Now I'll open the international patent law and do the same thing. So I'm taking the most important information and gathering and aggregating it together from different documents in my workspace. Next, I'll open the deposition transcript with the creator of this technology at Goodco and we'll highlight the most important parts. Now we'll take the key concept that the inventors say was copied and we'll move that to the workspace as well. But to prove it was copied, I'll open the Goodco patent. See, Goodco is using little air pockets trapped in the plastic as springs. Very clever. So I'll add the title, What We Created. Then I'll select this image with my Apple Pencil and pull it out into the workspace like this. Now I'll add a claim as well, but to be sure I'm adding the right one, I need to compare the claim and the diagram. So I'll use two fingers to pinch the document to bring both pages side by side, and I can find the relevant claim easily. Now I can select the claim, pull it out, and connect it to the diagram. Now to get evidence of how bad Co copied us, I'll open their web page, which I imported earlier. I'll pull out the incriminating image showing them ruthlessly using the same air bubble technology as us. And I'll take out their description too. I'll add a title heading, Bad Co's Copy, and attach that to the group. I want to emphasize what they copied, so I'll use my pen to draw some circles to really point out that area clearly. I also want to show that these two groups relate to the deposition transcript, so I'm just going to draw some lines connecting them. But these lines are live ink links, so they can move around, and you can even use them to get from one object to the other. So notice what we've done. We've integrated information from various sources, connected it, mixed it with our own ideas, and formed a single coherent body of knowledge in the workspace. Now I need to get ready for my meeting with the judge. So first, I'll review the transcript. I want to review the highlights, but it's hard to see the big picture. So I'll use Highlight View and squeeze the transcript to bring them all together and see them at once. Isn't that cool? And I can stretch to see the context around them as well. I should also take a look at the relevant patent law, so I can just touch the links on those excerpts to go right back to the source documents. And I'll do the same thing for the Badco web page. But while I'm here, it looks like they claim they invented this technology. So they may be guilty of false advertising as well as patent infringement. But I want to be sure, so I need to check the transcript. So I'll hold my finger on the web page while tapping the link on the transcript excerpt, and it shows me both at once, so I can compare them side by side. And yes, they do seem to be guilty of false advertising. So I'll draw an arrow from the first document into the second, and it creates a live ink link, crossing between my documents. And so later, if I'm on the website, I can always tap the arrow to get right back to that transcript quote. I'd like to share this with the judge, so I'll use Liquitext's notes outline feature that converts the workspace to a nice linear document that I can send right over to Microsoft Word, and I can edit into a final form and send it to the judge. Now we'll go back to the Liquitext app again. And the judge says that Badco's bricks are a different size than ours. So I do a quick word search for size. And now I can do that same pinch gesture in the transcript to bring all the results together. And the transcript shows that yes, we expected the bricks to be different sizes. But to be sure, I'll do a global search. And it shows me the results in every document in my project. I'll go to the results in the patent. And I do that same pinch gesture and see all the examples at once again. And look, the patent says they can be different sizes. And so I show this to the judge. And what does the judge say? We win.